everyone and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. I got a new laptop and I actually could not record because I uh, couldn't figure out how to get it going and I finally got it so that way this is now working and you can hear my sound. Um, today we're going to go over a quicker video. I've done one in the past but this is NVIDIA. They've been in the news a ton lately and they just have a ton of upside because of all the AI integration and how AI is used with NVIDIA um, and vice versa. So as we can see it is listed as a strong buy. There are 32 buy ratings, 4 hold, 0 sells. And so what Tip Ranks does is it gathers all the analyst uh, data and information as far as what price targets there are and what the uh, initiation of coverage is. Is it a buy, hold, or sell? And then it gives you all of this compiled into one website. So it's really useful for that. Um, so far, it looks like as of today, June 11th, which is a Sunday, um, as of the last closing price uh, on Friday, June 9th, uh, which NVIDIA was at $387. It looks like analysts still see an average upside of about 16% from that, looking at $449, let's just call it $450 for the stock price. That's the average. Um, there's a low of $230 and there's a high of $600. So there's quite a few different analyst ratings going into this. Um, and as far as like an actual stock analysis goes, it looks like there is um, over here on the smart score, we are given a 10 out of 10 for NVIDIA. It's an outperform. So that's actually, this is the best of the best. Strong buy. It's a bullish sentiment as far as what people are saying. Hedge funds are trading it. Uh, insiders, you know, are selling shares because obviously it's, you know, it's gone up a lot lately. That's actually a good thing. Um, and it just sounds like very positive news overall. If we actually look at the technical analysis of it, both looking at the 50-day and the 200-day moving average on the technical side, um, this is going into a golden cross because it has gone above the 50 and the 200-day. That's really good. Uh, that's usually a strong buy signal, and it's well over the 200-day and the 50-day moving average as far as where we're at right now. That's huge, um, and that's all because of what happened with – let me try to find the uh, earnings estimates. Um, so what had happened was, you know – over the last quarter, um, over the last quarter, NVIDIA had a 44% surprise in what was estimated versus what was reported for their earnings. Uh, the quarter that ended, you know, for January 2023 was up 35%. And the quarter that ended, you know, the year for them in uh, 2022 was down you know, because they had seen a lot of negative, you know, impact as far as people not buying chips. A lot of their chip supply was, uh, you know, kind of ruined by different things going on geography-wise. So they weren't able to actually meet quotas um, for orders for their chips. So they had uh, struggled a little bit, but it sounds like they're back on track. And again, the last two quarters have seen really, really strong um, reported in earnings per share compared to what the analysts had estimated. Um, strong, strong gap there. Um, and then lastly, I really want to go over if you had invested $10,000 to start uh, the year in NVIDIA, then you would actually have $25,000 today, almost $26,000. It's about a, on, almost 160% uh, return. So that's really amazing. Um, that is definitely something that doesn't happen very often as far as what starts a year. This is not normal. This is not a normal. Like usually you might get you know, 5 to 10% to start out a year, like in the first half of a year, first six months. This is abnormal to have 160%. But if we actually look at monthly returns, we can see that most of that was gathered in the first uh, month of the year, 33%. February 18%, uh, March 19%, April it was just a, a hair down, and then in you know, uh, and then in May they just exploded again because of their earnings growth and what had happened there with their reporting. Um, we actually want to look at more of a broad scale. So let's look at like the last three years from 2020 to 2023. Your $10,000 uh, invested in 2020 in Nvidia today would be worth about 64,000 for about a, you know 72% gain. Um, but if we want to look at the annual returns, like here you can see 2022, you saw a huge you know downturn in your money. Um, that was 50%. You had to go from 50. 
thousand dollars in 2021 down to 25,000. You know, obviously it was a ten thousand dollar investment to begin with, so you had already grown your money, you know, uh, two and a half times, but it still hurt. 